Kaya and Pākehā started in the summer of 2014, when Belinda and Jared saw an opportunity to reconnect people with the kai of Aotearoa. Traditional Māori kai was largely being overlooked by the public, but with the injection of new cooking styles and modern flavours, people would have a reason to give it a try. Tēnā kōrua, no mai, haere mai, welcome along. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora, Belinda. No mai pūhā. Me te Pākehā, he puku kataka tō tēnā ingoa. It's such a cute name, Pūhā and Pākehā. What does that mean? It means a couple of things to us. Obviously, I'm the Pūhā in the relationship, and I'm the Pākehā. Is Pākehā. Are you an actual Pākehā? No. <laughs> a real life one, yeah. yeah. I didn't know. I can't tell. <laughs> and he had e pāna ki te kai, ne? It's also about your food. We wanted to represent Māori kai and native New Zealand things. And it's fusion, fusing the two together. Kāpai, katahi nā te kaupapa. Fantastic idea. So what are we going to do today as we get our Pūhā on. Today we're going to cook an Aotearoa Reuben sandwich and what that is is our hangi cooked pastrami with a nice horopito spice rub on it and then we're going to have braised cabbage, a delicious tangy Russian sauce on it and lightly toasted durea one of it. How about the tofiro and what about our dessert I can see here? Uh, well today we're going to cook a meringue and we're going to infuse it with kawakawa, serve it with fresh cream and a salted caramel sauce. So that's the pop, is that kawakawa in your meringue. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Nareira So what do we need to get started on? Because, I mean, I could just stand here and watch you guys, but I'm supposed to help. <laughs> We're going to start with the meringue, because it'll just take a little while to cook in the oven. Me whakakai do we need to turn the oven on now then? No, I normally turn the oven on as I put the meringues in. Okay. don't want the oven getting too hot, because meringues, you don't want to cook them long and slow, and I find, for me, the best method is to not let it heat the oven up. Okay, nā So we need to beat some egg whites. Kia whā, four of them. Aye, yes. e whā. I just, I get the feeling that you're quite competitive, so I'm gonna um, go against you for the egg white shall I? <laughs> I'm not an expert. I'll expert. give it a go. Yeah. And just go hard for it. How ngā kai whakauru katoa i tēnei wā? What are all of our ingredients at this time? So we've got four egg whites. Then we add 250 grams of sugar and a teaspoon of kawakawa. So just add about half. And then we'll mix that through and then add the remaining. Now, pēhe o whakaaro, the piata, it's sort of shining. And... Yeah, it looks really good. Harawe yep. the kakara, it's a beautiful smell already from the kawakawa. Mm, very mm. aromatic. So we'll just spoon it out. We just like to keep it natural and spoon it and not pipe it or do anything too flash. It's very easy to whip up at home. No uh, te whakaaro mo tēnei umanga. Where did the idea for this company come from? We always wanted to do a, a street food business and initially I thought, oh, it'd be great to have a hangi business. But then I thought, well, I like hangi, but no, not everyone's a Māori like me. So uh, if we wanted to make it accessible to everybody and we wanted to really highlight Māori food as well as Hangi food and native New Zealand food, then we'd have to give it a modern upgrade. We'd have to make it uh, far more accessible to everybody. Mm. And when we looked around, we just noticed that there's just so many international cuisines that New Zealand's really embraced, but there wasn't a lot of our own. Te kai take take o Aotearoa nei, so our indigenous food as mm. well. There's nothing like kawakawa anywhere, is there? No. Yeah. And later on you'll see horopito as well. It's only found here. Right. Ka ki te umu, so we're going to put it in the oven now. What heat do we end up putting it on? So 120 degrees, so a low heat for around 40 minutes. Kai roto ke te tofiro i te umu, so we've got that in the oven. And now te ranu, ne, the sauce? Yes, so we're going to make a salted caramel sauce today. So while Belinda's doing that, Stace, we'll cut up the cabbage for the sandwich. Kapai. Nā reira, i tōna tikanga, it traditionally is sauerkraut. Isn't it? Usually it would be sauerkraut in a traditional uh, American deli sandwich, but we're okay. just using braised cabbage. And you can just shave it off nice and fine like there. You may be there for a while. And then I will rub the pastrami while we, you're doing that. Oh, kitaha. And what, so what will you put it on it? In here I have two tablespoons of ground coriander, three tablespoons of dried horopito, two tablespoons of mustard powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and we use the star anise when we cook it. So now we've got our beef that's been spice rubbed and we're going to put in the hangi to cook. 
When you're choosing this cut of meat, what have we got here? So this is corn silverside. And what we've done with that is we've soaked it in water overnight because it can get really salty and briny, take up some mm. of the brine. Uh, and then we've rinsed it off, applied the spice rub that you saw earlier, and then we're going to go put it in the hangi. You can cook this hangi style in your oven at home. So what you would do is put a, a small amount of manuka wood chips in a tray on the bottom of the oven, heat the oven right up as high as it'll go, and once they start to get a little bit smoky, then you'll put your beef in and let it smoke for about 40 minutes. Right, so we'll just check the meringues already. Um, I find they just... Ooh. They're looking pretty good. So we just need to tap them, and once they're firm to tap, then they're ready. Now, so we've got a nice cooked dessert all ready to go. Mete ranu hoki and the sauce. Kai te mahi te hangi ana mahi, and we've got the hangi doing its thing. So, what are we up to now? Uh, so now we're going to braise our cabbage. Nare re te wahanga kiau, and what I need to do over here is make the red sauce. Yes, so we'll make the red sauce. So we need to start with a egg and an egg yolk in the blender with two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And then what we need to do with the oil is we've just got to drizzle in a very thin stream mm -hmm. very slowly so that it can emulsify with the egg. So now that's all mixed up and nice and creamy, we can add one and a half tablespoons of horseradish and one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. We also need our tomato sauce, so we need a third ah, of a cup. Ah, kawhiroa i te ranu whero, so that we actually have red, red, red sauce. And then we need to season it with some salt and pepper. Tastes like. Okay. Mmm. That's good. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh, bai tena. Okay, that's me. Kori te tena, so that's nice and ready there. Ha te momo rewana. And what sort of rewana bread have you got? We just get it from a local bakery um, on the shore there. And we order it up and they make it for us. <laughs> ah, oh, Hangi's done. Cool. <laughs> Hangi's ready. Oh, they are. Does that mean he's talked enough? <laughs> <laughs> it would go off a lot more often if it was. That was it. Kōti tō mahi nui, been out of the Hangi pit, which is not a Hangi pit. <laughs> it smells amazing. Yeah, it's looking good out there. We've put the steam in, lots of steam coming out, which will cook our kai. Haha, <laughs> so, so what do we need to do in our little production line here? What we'll do is we'll take a piece of the rewana bread, we'll put down the pastrami, we we'll put a little bit of the red sauce, then the braised cabbage, and then the other piece on top, and then we cut it in half just to make it nice and easy to hold and to eat. Okay, so how do we serve up those delicious meringues? So basically, we just take the meringue and top it with the whipped cream, and then we'll drizzle over the salted caramel sauce. Puha and Pakeha. All the goodness, everything that's amazing about Aotearoa all comes together in this little hakari. It looks so edible. It looks like it just wants me to pick it up right now. Ko <laughs> tātou tēnā, we're going to have a little try? Yeah. Sure. Tata katoa. Eh? Mmm. 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 Just loves being in the hangi, doesn't it? It does. It's amazing how many things you can cook in the hangi and they come up tasting great. So this is sort of like if you gone to New York, but you took your hang. Yeah. <laughs> so Māori went to New York and cooked his own feed. Mm. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, goodness. Mm. Hey, the kawakawa is a money shop, isn't it? If I hua tō rautake, that little technique you do, it does, it makes it, oh, such a perfect texture. Crunchy on the outside and nice and squishy in the middle. Mm, nice and chewy, and you can just bite into it and chew on it. Mm. Well, more your Gwene, you know, you know pretty well. I may have had a couple of these in my time. No <laughs> good, they're way muddy, and I'm so lucky that I have. But it's really doable. I can do this again, and I will. And I'll think of you guys the Aotearoa Ruben Kawakawa, which really puts the money shot onto our meringues. Then I go to her. Puha and just like that. That's a good combo. <laughs>